بسم الله والحمد لله not quite as cold as it was yesterday morning but uh, that frost is telling us that we're going to be needing to make some modifications around camp one I know Aisha has been looking at uh, winterizing the chicken coop uh, you can I don't know if you can see them up there but uh, the rooster and his ladies are hanging out up there in the run uh, cool thing about the rooster we call him Cluck Norris is the uh, golden fella there to the right um, he's uh, he crowed for the first time he's a young guy and he crowed for the first time this morning that was pretty exciting anyway she's talking about getting some uh, clear plastic sheeting or some such to uh, insulate them against the the cold that is due to intensify in the coming days and weeks and I could probably stand to do the same in the uh, <clears throat> in the garden Oops. sorry I feel like I bumped you guys so yeah we might be getting some of that uh, and then so some plastic sheeting um, and we're running low on firewood the we do have central heating we've got a uh, propane tank out here and uh, that would be something that we fall back on when the wood stove isn't sufficient but as it stands the heating is down which is fine for the moment but we're looking at getting that repaired so anyway I think some sheeting for the uh, for the chicken coop and uh, the garden some firewood oh and some straw bales for the uh, for the uh, um, for the goat pen yeah guys good morning to you Aisha was in the habit of free ranging those t chickens for the uh, for several months and they were doing pretty great and to be honest it was lovely seeing them run around and take their dirt baths and uh, just eat whatever it is they eat they'd be running around with lizards in their mouths pretty amazing but they just got picked off one by one by uh, coyotes we had a bunch of coyotes running around here when the chickens were free ranging so we uh, lost a big portion of the flock she got some new chickens and they've been in that run ever since although we recognize that as suboptimal so the long-term plan we don't have perimeter fencing and we've got a couple uh, we've got one side of the property uh, fenced but we've got two sides that don't have any perimeter fencing so once we get the perimeter fencing set up we can probably let AD out so that he's patrolling the entire property and not just the goat pen and when that happens we'll see if we can revisit having the chickens out good morning to you guys how's everybody feeling glad to hear it so that's something also when the coyotes were out here picking off the um, chickens we did not have a rooster at that time and so we're kind of wondering if having that rooster will function as a deterrent we've been told that roosters are quite watchful over their flocks here you go buddy and uh, if nothing else they might make enough noise that we can uh, come out there and chase the coyotes off ourselves the other challenge of course will be uh, acclimating AD to the chickens he hasn't spent a long time with them 
He did a bit when he was a pup. Right, I'm trying to outrun these goats. Hey, ah, quick juke, yes! There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, here we go. Gotta get that water, that spray bottle. Hey! I don't know if you saw it over there. Hey! His trouble's eating the dog food. Come on, AD. Let's get your dog food. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. He's eating your food, fool. I don't know. You, uh, religious scholars out there, I'm a Muslim. If I slaughter this goat, oh, now, now AD's so brave. If I slaughter this goat after he's eaten dog food, is he still halal? Does that make him a carnivore? Y'all let me know. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, I don't know where I got, where I left off, but uh, yeah, okay, you can let him go now. Uh, important to notice that he's just got him by the collar. He's not actually holding on to his neck or anything like that. He's just holding on to the collar. Good boy, AD, good boy. Good boy. You show him who's boss. Oh, show her. She's our alpha female. Ooh, how did plastic tubing get in here? That's no good. All right, all right, all right. You showed her what a big boss you are. Now, come on, come on, come on, let go, let go, let go, let go. AD, let go, I got her. AD, AD, knock it off, buddy. AD. All right, all right, good, good, good. It was a team effort. I don't think there's any harassing, um, I don't think there's any amount of harassment that will put trouble off of that dog food. And once she got a taste for it, boy, she hones in on that. She ha likes it a heck of a lot more than her grass. Anyway, that's what's happening this morning. Okay, well, we had a few things we wanted to do today, uh, including winterizing that coop with some plastic sheeting. Uh, that didn't actually happen on account of uh, the uh, plastic sheeting that Aisha was hoping for was uh, about, was in Sacramento. About a three hour round trip, so we didn't make it. Second thing that we wanted to do today was to get some firewood. Uh, and we went to a lot that had some, but unfortunately the lot was locked up. So we'll have to try another time. I took a tarp off of some wood that we've got drying out and uh, next weekend I'll go ahead and see what I can do about chopping some up. Uh, and uh, that didn't stop Aisha though from addressing the coop. Uh, we've got some grass in there to soak things up, give them some things to peck on. She's got a little extra stimulation in there. We noticed some of the birds were losing their feathers and we're wondering if they're just kind of bored again being cooped up. Uh, I believe she took some time to clean up in here a little bit. She was talking about some cobwebs and I think a leak. Looks like she put some fresh bedding down. Uh, may have added some tar paper to the uh, to the inside here. So, uh, did spend part of the day getting that in order. Uh, so struck out on the firewood, struck out on the plastic sheeting. We did get some straw for the um, for the goats. Oh, which reminds me, uh, I was gonna grab some cracked corn. They're out here foraging. Sometimes they'll come when I call and uh, sometimes I need to bait them with the cracked corn and sometimes they're actually waiting for me at the pen to let them in. So we'll see. Here's the straw we picked up. Removed a section to add to the uh, to add to the uh, their shelter. But yeah, pretty good day in town. Uh, picked up the straw. 
went to a uh, natural market co-op and uh, picked up a few things that Aisha wanted and came back home. Ripley was chilling by the fire. So right after that, came out here. I let the goats out. Look out, look out, look out, look out. She got to work uh, on the coop. But let's get AD fed. And then we can see where they're at. Here you go, buddy. That's for you. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I put him on tether because he is not used to being in here without his goats. And I was a little concerned that he might try to get out. But, um,. We're going to have to go looking for some goats. So let's see how that goes. Go on and eat your food, buddy. I'm going to go find your goat friends. Hey, goats! Okay, I think I hear them coming this way. Hey, goats! Hey, goats! Aha, up this way. So a little call and response. That's actually how goats communicate with one another. Hey, goats! Aha, uh -huh. I hear their bells. Here they are. Yeah, guys. Well, it's time to come home. It's time to come home. You had me worried. Come on, let's go. Let's go. That bell or those bells are very reassuring to a goat herder, I must say. Come on in, come on in folks, come on in. Got you all some fresh bedding. Go ahead, go ahead, come on. Come on, let's go look around. Come on, let me show you what I got. It's real nice. You stay right there. It's real nice. Come on, come on. Come on, goats. Look at this. Look at this. It's all nice and dry for you, Floor. It's all nice and dry. Check it out. Fluffy. Fluffy, yeah, check it out, look at that, it's all yours too. Okay, let me close this gate before these animals get the idea to take off. Hey, trouble, there she goes, at the, there you go, come on, there you go. I tell you, she thinks she's a dog, he thinks he's a goat, everybody's confused out here. The rest of the world is navigating transgenderism. We're out here struggling with transspeciesism. Look at that, you see, look, 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 look. They're still little nipping on their mama's teats. And uh, there goes AD messing up the whole scene. Anyway, that was our day today. Come on, go ahead, <laughs> eat your food, fool.